Hello and welcome to this tutorial on Microsoft Word. In this video, we will be discussing margins, column, page size, and ruler. Let's get started. So, first, let's talk about margin. Margin are the space around the edge of a page in a document. To adjust the margin, go to the layout. Here, you can see insert design and layout so i use the layout in the layout you can choose from variety of present margin size here and you can see normal narrow moderate white and mirrored or there is another customer margin so i'm starting with a normal one so it's selected now i'm using that one so but if i want to use narrow let's see how it looks like it looks like the different so it's mean you can see in the normal top should be one inch bottom should be one inch and left and right it's one inch and narrow you can see 0 0.5 inch 0 0.5 inch bottom and both sides left and right the 0 0.5 and the moderate you can see we see here so if i select the one is one inch top bottom you can see here there one lay 0.75 and 0.75 inch you can see and as well you can see white top should be one inch bottom should be one inch left two inch and right two inch and if you go to the custom margins whatever you want to use or whatever you want in your page so you can just type it here type the your inch so how many are so top will be four bottom will be one and whatever i like so i just select from here and go to the okay but i'm now using the normal because i'm using normal one and if you do like this so and if you want like this page as usual so you can say set as default and you can just select here and say default and it will come up here okay then we will discuss the next one it is called the change space orientation so in a view you can see here you can see it's called portrait view if i click on here landscape so it's called the landscape so it's for your printing the next option we will go to the size before that i'll go back again the portrait page setup here in the site so choose page size choose a paper size for your document so here is the few option if i click on here so here you can see letter tabloid legal executive a3 a4 b4 b5 and involve and envelope monarch so you can see uh, normally i am using a4 size paper for my document but if you want more you can go to the more paper size okay. here you can see here is the more paper size uh, you can use or you can use from here so whatever you like or you can use you can type your white and height for your paper okay let's go back again so i'm doing the with the cancel so if i start like the letter size let's see how it looks like it looks like the little bit different because here the a4 size 8.27 inch height and 1.69 white and later we see 8.5 inch times 11 inch white so there's the different of them according to if we see the legal so you can see it's a little bit bigger it's not like a4 or a letter head so as well so whatever you want just you can select and you can use the one next let's discuss columns columns allow you to divide your document in multiple sections which can be useful for creating newsletter browser for creating or other types of documents to add columns go to the layout same as and in right side you can see here there is a um option 
to choose so one two, one column or two columns or three or left or right whatever you want you can just select and create a custom layout or you can use the more column from here and you can use number of columns whatever you want you just click and how many do you want you can see here is preview here and you can use uh, how many columns do you want usually i'm using two columns let's see how it looks like yeah if i use this one with two yeah it looks like the kind of so if you want the left it looks like like this so whatever you want just you just click here and you can also use the more columns from here and split your text into two or more columns you can also choose the white and spacing of your columns or use one of the present format whatever you like okay finally let's discuss the ruler the ruler is handy tool that allow you to adjust the margin indent and tabs in your document to show or hide the ruler go to view here we can see and you can if i click here so you cannot see anything on top if i click in here so you can see so how much it can move it like if i want to with the one pages let's see here you can see and if i let's go back again and we do with the one so and here you can see the very easily and left side and the right side here and if you want to take this a little bit right side so what can you do you just select that this thing and take uh, excuse me and take it to here no if only if i want just this selection area so what can i do i just move it so it will go go here and if you do the whole thing so what can you do you just take it here it will be moved and from here same as so it it can easily move and easily do with your margin s and in here you can also use whatever you like and that's it you now know how to adjust the margin columns page size and ruler in microsoft word these tools can help you create professional looking documents that are easy to read and navigate. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more Microsoft Word tutorials.